Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema, oncology, and women's health. When someone has swelling or lymphedema in the leg or the arm or even the head and chest or face area, the main treatment option is compression. There are so many different types of brands and types of compression with compression garments and stockings and sleeves, Velcro wraps, compression wraps, and nighttime garments. I'm in the middle of a series going through different types of compression, not only for the individual looking for the compression themselves, but also for other lymphedema therapists. So for this part of the series, in this video, I'm gonna go through and break down some of the best options for nighttime compression for swelling or lymphedema that are on the market right now as of 2021. Before I get into them, like I have in the other videos, I want everyone to know that everyone is very different. Everyone has their different sizes, different shapes, different silhouettes, different needs, different health issues. Everyone's going to be a little bit different at what they need. So the correct answer for what you need is going to be between you and your lymphedema therapist, your vendors, and your doctors. I'm just here to bring knowledge on all the different options out there, and although they may not be the best for you, hopefully they can help create a discussion between you and your healthcare team. So first, before we begin, I wanna explain why someone may need compression at nighttime. Like I've talked about in the other videos, looking through compression garments and sleeves and stockings and Velcro wraps, which I'll link all of them down below, but specifically at nighttime, what are we looking for? If someone so if someone has a little bit of swelling during the day, say that by the end of the day, because they have a standing job, they notice that their feet and their ankles are a little swollen, but by the next morning, after they've had their legs up all night while they're sleeping, their legs or feet are back to the size that they would expect them to. That is common. We're working against gravity all day to try to get our valves to pump all this fluid up against the gravity towards our heart again, and sometimes that doesn't work as well. And so some people will wear compression stockings or garments during the day to help minimize that swelling that may occur. And then at nighttime, it may go away. However, when someone has more moderate to severe swelling or lymphedema due to either being diagnosed with lymphedema or trauma or a fracture or a surgery or something else, they may need some sort of compression at nighttime to assist with that swelling. If there's a lymphatic dysfunction, no matter if you're working against gravity or not, you're going to have some backup of the swelling and those individuals typically need some sort of compression 24 hours a day. The other piece of the puzzle is if someone has fibrotic tissue or that thickened tissue that occurs after years of progression of their lymphedema, because what fibrosis is, it's just going to form within the tissues and harden in there. And then it makes the swelling even worse because the fluid can't move through all of that thick and dense tissue. So we need to break that down. And sometimes these nighttime garments are just perfect for that. So we use nighttime garments for those who do not reduce in swelling at night on their own, who have more moderate severe lymphedema, or who have thickened fibrotic tissue. Nighttime garments are meant just for nighttime, but some do wear them during the day when they're lounging at home, and that is just fine as well. Nighttime garments are nice because they can help soften that fibrotic tissue like I spoke about before, and they can also help reduce some of the swelling. The gold standard is to go through therapy to get compression bandaged to reduce someone, but the nighttime garments can help with that fluctuation and swelling in small amounts. So I'm gonna go into the medical level grade nighttime compression garment options. So the first garment I'm gonna go through is the Job's Relax. The Job's Relax is fairly new. I would say it's about a year or two old as of now and it's a much thinner compression garment that someone will wear at night. This is really going to be an only an option for someone who has mild lymphedema or mild swelling. It's not a great option for someone who has severe swelling. It is, as you can see, thin, it has a little bit of give to it, and it's gonna have a cooling effect so it's a little bit more breathable than some of the other ones we're about to show. So this is an arm piece that you can see. There's also a leg piece, but it also has this waffle-like padding on it that's going to create a little bit of that fibrotic breakdown feel so it will soften the tissues a little bit so if I were to slide this on actually it's the other arm um, it's going to be custom made 
like most of the garments, so it will fit for you. This one's not made for me, but as you can see, it will still give that nice compression to the arm, and it will go to more of a gauntlet style here, but it's just a light compression. It's really comfortable. It's really flexible. It doesn't tourniquet too much, and it's not as bulky as some of the others. Some will say, or I've heard my patients say that this reminds them of getting home and changing into your loungewear after work or your sweatpants after work. Same thing of changing into your Job's Relax. It's just a really comfy, um, relaxed feel hence the name so take that off this is just a light gentle option for someone looking for a light compression you can see it also gave me the waffle uh, print already on my arm so the next option is a well-known one this is the Caricia so this is not a garment by itself this is more of a liner so it does have that chip bag feel so it's going to help break down or soften that fibrotic tissue this is another arm sleeve so I'll pull this on I think this one is, this is a right medium. So they come in small, medium, large, that kind of sizing, and it will slide right on. But then you're gonna take your bandages and wrap over the top. So instead of this being a true garment by itself, although I do feel some compression, it's more of a liner. And so you still wanna take your bandages and wrap over the top of it to give that extra compression. It's going to take the place of all of the foams and paddings and things like that someone does with bandaging, but you still will need the bandaging over the top of this type of garment. It will soften the tissue really well. It gives a nice comfortable feel. It's still pretty flexible, um, not overly tight here at the elbow area, and it will come all the way up to the arm, and same thing with the leg. So the next options are going to be the tribute wrap. So I have an arm one and a lower leg one, I believe here, that I'll show you. So LNR has a tribute wrap, which is really nice. They are, they are known to make the tribute nighttime garment, which is the gold standard one, which I'll show later. But they have this newer version that also has a wrap with it. So this is really nice, especially for those who fluctuate in size a lot, who you know have a nighttime garment that's custom, but they just go up and down so much that it's hard to get on, and sometimes it's not tight enough. This is a nice option because you can make it tighter. So I'm gonna open up the Velcro so you can see. It's still gonna give that chip bag feel for that breakdown of the fibrosis. And so here's the foot piece. And so, you know, this is my arm, but the foot will go in there and then it will wrap over itself from there. And I'm putting this on my arm, but it's a leg piece, but you'll see that you can wrap it over and tighten it up as hard as you want to, because it is a little bit more elastic to tighten it up a little bit further. So a tribute wrap, newer option, great for again, those who fluctuate a lot or whoever just have a hard time pulling on and off the tribute nighttime garment as is. It's still gonna be the same amount of thickness compared to the tribute wrap. It just has that difference with that wrap feel with the Velcro. So that's the lower leg piece. I will say it also on top, like the tribute wrap, has the liner that goes on top that's also going to give a little bit of that extra compression to hold everything in. So you have the Velcro to tighten up, and then you also still have your liner on top. It does have a little bit of fabric on the bottom, so if you're walking around, you're not going to slide on the fabric there. For the arm one, it'll be a little easier to show. It also, again, Velcro all the way up and down. This is more realistic to show you because it does have the sleeve on the inside. So here's the outside liner piece as well, but you can slide this one on and off a little bit more. So what you usually do is loosen it a little bit. The Velcro's strong because it's brand new. And then someone can slide their arm in and out and then go ahead and go, this is actually the other arm, I'm backwards, sorry. but they can tighten it up from there and focus on kind of the problem area. So if the forearm is a little bit more swollen than everything else, you can tighten up that forearm a little bit more than the other pieces. The Velcro pieces on this is nice because they have the holes on the end, and so you can really hook into them to get a nice good pull with that. The Tribute wraps do come in small, medium, large, so they are sized out. They also have two lengths. They have regular and long. 
As you can see on here, it goes from the MCP, which is the joint of your hand, all the way up to the axilla or the armpit. It will hook up into the shoulder, which is nice as well for those so they're not missing that spot up top. So the next option I'm gonna show is the Sigvaris Chip Flow Wrap. So this is a little bit similar to the Tribute Wrap. Actually, it has a foot piece too, which is nice, and it has a lot of grip on the bottom so you won't slide. That's really nice to have. Okay, and then we'll have a couple Velcro pieces so you can close over the foot and ankle. So there's the boot piece. And then it goes from the knee to below, or excuse me, it goes from the ankle to below the knee. If we open it up, I think there are, yeah. So it comes with liner stockings like the Velcro wraps do. So this is going to be similar in the family of Sigvaris' Compraflex Velcro wrap, which I do show in the Velcro wrap video that you can check out. But this has that chip foam sleeve in between too. So this is the lower leg, but I'm gonna show you through the arm, is that the Velcro pieces, you know, this actually slides in and out, but there's four Velcros like the Compraflex, but you can slide your leg into one of this, and it looks like it has, for the dorsum of the foot or the top of the foot, it has a chip piece there too. And then you can Velcro tight over the top, so you get that extra compression with the foam piece, but you can tighten it up with the Velcro wrap, similar to the way the Tribute wrap does. But the nice thing about this is that this actually comes on and off, and so you could use this as just your Compraflex um, calf piece for daytime use with the liners underneath. So this is a product you can use in multiple different ways. You can do daytime with just the Velcro wrap and your liner and the boot, as you would, or as I showed in the other video. But this also comes with that chip flow piece that you can wear underneath, which would be a really great option for nighttime to help soften the tissue, to help break down some of that uh, fibrotic tissue and to get some of that fluid moving. You can get the chip sleeve separate as well as the Velcro separate, or you can get them together in one. I think that's just a really great idea by Sigvaris to put that as a versatile piece together. Um, again, these are come in small, medium, large, extra large, that kind of thing. And this is the same thing, although, I do believe you can get these a little bit more customized with to give a smaller compression at the ankle and larger at the calf, depending on what you need. But definitely check with your vendor or your retailer for more information. So the last garment I'm gonna talk about is definitely the most popular. It is the Tribute Night. So pull these out. We have a couple different options. These are customized garments. They are pretty heavy duty. They are a form of moderate to severe swelling and they have a couple options now. They come in a standard size and now they come also in a thin size, which are still going to have some extra fabric to it, just less bulky overall. This is a lower leg piece. It does have hook straps to help pull on and off. And this one does have a Velcro piece as well. Some of them don't have Velcro, some of them just slide on or part way. As you will see, you have to pull on the foot the rest of the way. It just Velcros up from the ankle up to below the knee. And this one also does have a couple Velcro pieces at the top to help tighten up that top piece as well. So you can make that a little bit more snug as you need. The hooks and the handles are meant to help get it on and off because it can be a little bit tight sometimes. The bottom does have that padding so you don't slide around at your home if you're not wearing anything underneath, which you probably won't because your shoe won't fit over the top. The Tribute lower leg does have knee high options, thigh high options, and full pant options. And so it can be really customized for you. So I also have a Tribute Knight with me for the arm. And so it's similar to the lower leg. It is that chip foam. It's gonna be a little thicker. They do have a regular and then a low profile. So again, a little bit thinner, but still gonna give that extra chip bag feel. These, as you'll see, will slide on. I have seen them that people will get a customized zipper or Velcro pieces for this as well. So there's a lot of modifications that can be done for the Tribute Night Garment, but overall they are customized for shape and size. And so that will slide on like that. They also do have the liner that go over the top and that will give a little bit more compression. So I'm gonna see if I can slide this on over the top.
um, you can get a little extra push to help reduce the swelling. I know a lot of people will just wear the outer layer too. It depends definitely on the fit and how much compression that you get and what your personal needs are. Besides the leg piece and the arm piece, I also have a sample for the head neck piece. So I don't talk a lot about head neck compression. It's a really challenging area to compress. And so a lot of people will wear nighttime compression only in the head neck area. Also because you think about it when you're laying down at night, gravity actually makes head neck swelling worse at night and then it's better during the day when you're upright. But they also have tribute night garments for the head neck area. It will fit over the top of the head and then come under the mandible or the jaw to give that compression around that area. And again, customizable so they have it above the mouth if needed and they even have eye pieces for those who have swelling around their eyes as well. So those are all the options for nighttime garments. There are a couple other options out there, but these are the most popular and most effective styles. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what else might be out there if you're stuck with one type of garment that you don't feel like is best for you. But as always, work with your lymphedema therapist to find what options may be best for you. For more videos on lymphedema treatment, management, and product reviews, be sure to subscribe to my channel to see weekly new videos. And if you found this video helpful, please press the like button and I'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.